Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Queen Sunbeam Tarot. I hope all is well with you and your beautiful families. So I just wanted to say before we begin, thank you to all of my subscribers. Make sure that when you do subscribe, you hit that bell so you can be updated every time I upload. So that way you guys won't miss out on any videos. But I am greatly appreciative of everyone that has subscribed to my channel. Um, and I just wanna make that clear because I've had an increase in subscribers and I am greatly appreciative of it. Thank you for coming along this journey with me. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So this pick a card is going to be a message from spirit, okay? Spirit, source, God, creator, whatever you believe in. Um, but I'm referring to God, source, creator, okay? So what I need for you to do is get calm, get relaxed, get into a nice vibe. That way you can be guided by your intuition when choosing from the three options that I have before you, okay? So we have option number one. Option number two. And option number three. Once you feel like you know which one is calling out to you, then go ahead and hit that description box and click on the timestamp for whichever one you feel the most drawn to. And then I will see you at your card selection. If anything I say today resonates for you, please make sure that you like this video, comment down below and subscribe to join the Sunstar family. I would be so lucky to have you. Please make sure that when you do subscribe, you hit that bell so you can be updated whenever I upload. And also check out my TikTok and my Instagram. I have amazing content over there. Just go ahead and check it out. Um, it's all in the description box, as well as the information to donate to my channel. It is not required, but it is greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and start with option number one. Hello, option number one. So if you chose this stone right here, then this will be your reading for a message from spirit. Let's go ahead and dive into this reading with your tarot first to see what the message is from spirit. Okay. All right, your first card, we have the chariot. Second card, we have the sun. Third card, we have the three of swords. Back of the deck, we have the ace of cups. I feel here for you, option number one, that you guys are going to be really replenishing your own energy and recovering maybe from a heartbreak, an ending, or something that really broke your heart or made you feel um, really, really bad in some way. I feel like you guys are going to be receiving enlightenment on why this needs to happen or why this has happened. And I feel like you guys are really going to be absorbing the information and the wisdom from whatever this wound is and taking it and taking taking power from it is what i'm getting you're taking power from this pain you're taking power from this wound and wisdom from this wound and it's, it's really turning you into a leader it's like because i'm really focused on in on this person that's riding this the chariot and it's like their head is held high and there's a there's this sense of i'm seeing things differently now and 
I'm a lot stronger now. I even I was strong before and I didn't see that and I'm I'm aware of how strong I am now. You have two major arcanas in this reading. Um and two very positive cards. So I feel like if you have been really going through it, there are a lot of positive changes that are going to be coming up for you either within your own self or with around you, you know, in your physical environment. Um, with the Ace of Cups, I feel like this is a brand new emotional start for you, okay? And I feel like this is this is important. This, this brand new emotional start is important for you. In order for you to feel empowered, I feel like this, this journey that you're on, option number one, is about your own empowerment. It's, it's about your own self-love. It's about your own self-reflection. Um, so I feel like Spirit is saying that you may have been dealing with some difficult feelings, emotions, realities, experiences, but this is all going to turn you into this person of power, this person that um, holds a lot of wisdom and that are that is capable of guiding other people to see the light. Um, and I feel like the spirit is telling you to put, raise your head high. No matter what it is that you've gone through, raise your head high because your experiences do not define who you are. You Only you get to define who you are. So I feel like that's what Spirit is saying here. We'll get some more cards out though. We have the Queen of Crystals. Um, and I do believe this is the Queen of Wands. I haven't used this deck in a little minute, so... I do believe this is the Queen of Wands. Yeah. Temperance. So fire energy. You could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Mm, and the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Diamonds. Okay. I love this. Yes. <laughs> um, at the back of the deck, we have the lovers. So I feel like you guys are really going to be guided to make choices and decisions that are best for you. It doesn't mean you're selfish. It just means that you are making decisions that are best for you and really focusing on how you feel rather than focusing on how everyone else feels, you know, because sometimes we can get wrapped up and caught up in other people. And that is not an energy that serves us. Right. Let me adjust okay so yeah that is not an energy that serves us with the queen of wands the temperance and ten of diamonds i'm seeing here that you guys are really going to be coming into balance like i feel like your masculine energy within you and your feminine energy within you is really coming into balance you're really coming into your authentic self and i feel like you guys are having more confidence in more drive to go after what it is that you desire i feel like spirit is basically coming here um coming to give you the message of that you're going through some a transformation a major change in your life um and if you aren't right now you will be going through this major change and transformation in your life that is really going to allow for you to succeed beyond um what you even thought you were capable of and with the Ten of Diamonds, I feel like your ancestors are helping you along the way. I feel like you are going to be breaking the chains of any toxic cycles that have been carried through your ancestral line. So this is a very positive reading for you, option number one. I feel like Spirit is really coming through to say that all is well and all will be well. All right, let me get some Oracle cards out for you new life didn't i say that i love that new life you guys are really stepping into this new life i love this a new way of being a new experience yes and then we have here co-create so yes yeah, spirit is helping you to achieve this new life all right so spirit is helping you to achieve this with this co-create card i feel like 100 i feel like you're going to be learning how to work with 
um the energies that you are given so like let's say that someone is really attacking you attacking your character telling you, you will never be nothing you will never you will never succeed you will never get to where you want to go you'll take all of that negative energy transmute it and turn it into um fuel to get to where you need to go you say okay that's what you have to say about me that's what you think that i'm capable of and you take that and you feel that towards working towards your new beginning working towards your new life so i feel like that is that is one of the ways that you guys are creating a new life for yourself really taking that heartbreak that that whatever that because it's going to be uh, different for all of you guys what this this heartbreak energy is what this ending energy is um but whatever this is that happens for you it transforms you it enlightens you it, it empowers you to move forward okay and it, and it helps you to create a new life for yourself um and i feel like with the co-create card as well i feel like spirit is saying um, be willing to lean on spirit God source be willing to lean on other you know um, on the spiritual realm to help you to get to where you need to go because remember your ancestors are really watching you and are proud of you and are trying to help you along the way as well okay um, and yeah I feel like spirit is trying to help you to get towards move towards peace okay so let's get you a final card option number one Get you a final card from Spirit. Okay, you have honoring self. Trigger statement this is the way it has always been done. True statement I create my way. You are ready to fulfill your desires by thinking outside of the box. The past, the path less traveled may be more fulfilling okay the path less traveled may be more fulfilling yes see i love this okay so this is talking about um the intuitive message that i'm getting from this card is that you are changing and you are taking the path that is less traveled meaning that this path may not be easy and this new path for you this new start this new life may not be easy go lucky it may not be sunshine and rainbows all of the way there but it is leading you to peace it is leading you to where you are going to be most happy you know um i feel like as well with this true statement i create my own way it's like i feel like you guys are some of you guys are really choosing to put it into certain people places things that are just not serving you that won't serve you in this new life okay so i feel like spirit is giving you a pat on the back for that and i feel like you guys are really putting yourself first as we have honoring self you're really putting yourself first and spirit is again patting you on the back for that um and and if you don't feel like you've been doing that then this is this is the guidance for you and and this is how you should be looking at this ending right uh you know what this is me putting myself first this ending is what's best for me you know having a more um positive outlook about it because there are going to be positive changes that happen for you um and for some those that have this negative feeling towards this ending or this heartbreak or whatever this is for you um like again with this trigger statement this is the way it has always been done like if you feel like from the very beginning all you've had was chaos conflict and negative emotions and you know don't um don't get caught up and wrapped up in that don't see your life as just a tragic story because you create your story you create your way so make different decisions choose differently in order to change the change this narrative change the story so that's what i have for you option number one i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a big fat like comment down below and subscribe to join the sunstar family make sure when you do subscribe you hit that um bell button so you can be updated every time i upload also please con consider checking out my instagram and my tiktok all at queen sunbeam tarot and um and that information is down below 
Um, also, the information to donate to my channel, it is not required, but it is greatly appreciated, is down below as well. I appreciate you so much for being here. Let's move on to option number two. Hello, option number two. So if you chose this stone right here, then this will be your reading for a message from spirit. Let's go ahead and dive into your tarot first to see what the message from spirit is. All right, for option number two, what is the message from spirit? Oh, eight of swords. King of Cups, Ace of Cups, oh, back of the deck we have the Ten of Cups, okay, all right, so I feel like for you guys, option number two, maybe in the past, you've been feeling um, stuck when it comes to love. Maybe in the past you've said um, love isn't for me or love is too hard for me to be able to get or it just seems like I can't find my right person. <laughs> Maybe you've said these things um, in the past, option number two. Um, at least that's what I'm picking up with this eight of swords. In the past you were stuck, maybe in regards to, to a certain connection or feeling stuck in regards to your emotions. But I feel like either way, I feel like you're moving in the direction of peace. You're moving in the direction of actually being able to allow your feelings to overflow overflow with like joy. And even if it isn't joy, you're just finding yourself crying while watching a movie or something. Your feelings are being released. There seems to be some sort of release. It's like something was um, really caged something was really not being let out um and now maybe in the coming days or maybe this has already happened for you there's this release of emotions there's this release of maybe truth as well since i just heard truth let's dive a little bit deeper to see what this could be I feel like this could be involving another person for some of you guys. And for some of you guys, it's not involving another person. Um, you guys could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Or this could be involving a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. But I feel we got like um, two water energies here. And I feel like there's a lot something about your emotions okay we have the tower coming out for the eight of swords so okay strength coming out for the king of cups a lot of majors okay five of swords coming out for the ace of cups okay back of the deck we have the queen of pentacles okay so i feel like with the tower here i feel like with the tower and the queen of of pentacles at the back of the deck i feel like it's important for you guys option number two to really mother yourself through the changes that happen in your life instead of mentally trapping yourself um i feel like you may have felt um, time and time again mentally trapped um, I feel like there's a need for you to uh, protect your mind and I feel like spirit is bringing that into awareness for a reason um, it's a real need for you to protect your mind look at how her crown looks like spikes so maybe envisioning um, a shield around you or asking God source spirit creator whatever you believe in or the angels to create a shield of protection around you and your energy because I feel like maybe in certain relationships with the Ace of Cups and the Five of Swords clarifying it, I feel like maybe in certain relationships in your life, you've had this constant betrayal, constant hurt, constant pain. 
um and all of this is really allowing for you to really uh gain a lot of wisdom and a lot of mental strength and spiritual strength um which is why i feel like we have the strength card here it's really teaching you how to really um have control over your own energy and not allow for anybody else's energy to affect you so i feel like maybe you guys have picked up on certain energies that weren't meant for you to um carry or weren't meant for you to hold within and i feel like you guys are really learning how to release that and because I did feel this energy of release. So I feel like you guys are learning how to release that. those, That feeling of betrayal. That feeling of, of relationships not working out. You're releasing that. And really learning how to strengthen your mind. Strengthen your your own emotions. How to cap your emotions. And keep it. Keep it. Um, keep your emotions into your own. Like what I mean by that is not allowing for anyone else to get you out of character. You're learning how to to not allow for anyone else how to get you out of character. Is that how I'm is I'm saying it right? <laughs> I really hope I'm saying it right. Like you're not allowing yourself to be affected by outside sources. You're really finding a lot of mental strength within, emotional strength within, okay? And I feel like there's gonna be some major changes happening as well. Um Let's get some oracle cards to be fair. Yeah. So we have orphaned and it kind of came out in reverse. Um, so I'm going to keep it that way. I feel like, yeah, you guys may be still in this energy. Some of you guys may still be in this energy of maybe feeling alone, feeling like the relationships in your life don't really work out. Um, and others are really moving out of that energy. Others are actually, you know, climbing and clawing their way out of that energy. So I'll leave it in reverse. We also have to be fair. So I feel like you guys are really wanting, um, for the situations, the relations in your life to be fair. You want that equal connection. You want to be given what you are giving. You know what I'm saying? You want that equal. If you're giving love, you want love back. You don't want betrayal. You don't want uh, insults. You don't want that. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's what you guys are really working through. Working through. I feel like you guys are working through some tough energies okay and i feel like spirit is recognizing that spirit is saying here that i see that you want for relationships and things in your life to be fair you want for um energies to be equal to what you are given because maybe you feel like you're a good person and you deserve good things but i feel like what spirit is saying here once you come out of this energy of feeling like this situation will always be this way or whatever this mental block is that you're creating for yourself because i do feel like it's you creating it for yourself once you uh see the enlightenment see the truth of what it is that you are doing to yourself mentally um because this could be subconsciously as well you may have these thoughts of you know i'm gonna be alone forever and um i can't never find a relationship that benefits me this these type of thoughts um once you really dive within and really figure you know clear out that energy out you could listen to some positive affirmations while you're sleeping so some subliminal affirmations while you're sleeping um as well um to help you move out of this orphaned energy and move into um this more peaceful king of cups energy so let's get your final card okay i was shuffling we have destiny Okay, trigger statement, I am lost. True statement, I do what I love. There is a path waiting just for you. Open your heart and mind so you can use it on your journey of fulfillment. Okay. So some of you guys may have felt lost. This is why, that's that orphaned feeling. Feeling like you don't belong anywhere. Feeling like... <sighs> yeah feeling like you don't belong anywhere feeling isolated okay so i feel like spirit is saying that it with destiny being the um the this with destiny being the word on this card i feel like 
this is something this is something a feeling that you definitely are meant to go through to work through an energy that you are meant to work through and grow through um and i feel like Yes, I feel like Spirit is saying be open to the better side of life. Be open to new experience. Be open to the good things that can happen for you. Be open. Open your heart. Open your mind. Be open to seeing that uh, things don't have to be this way all the time. I don't have to feel lost. I don't have to feel the way that I've been feeling. I can choose to just, I can choose to feel loved. I can choose to feel um happiness i can choose to feel like i know where i'm going you know what i'm saying you have that power you have that power within you i want to get you guys another card though so spirit is reminding you of the power of choice and how how strong the power of choice is okay it really is you have and, and you know it's not an easy route and i want to make that clear i'm not saying that you could just make yourself feel however you want to feel no it's not that easy but if you decide if you come to the decision okay because you have your own free will if you come to the decision that i'm going to choose happiness today i'm going to choose to be calm i'm going to choose to see the love that surrounds me then that is that is setting intention for positivity over your life that is setting the intentions for a positive day so just keep that in mind so we have look belief it's all about your mind so i suggest really diving deep into the law of attraction and learning and 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 um doing some research on that because i feel like spirit wants you to do that because i feel like it'll help change your life around option number two so for your last and final card we have belief okay it says trigger statement it is too late true statement i am free to believe you are clearing away beliefs energy and memories that no longer serve you so the necessary decisions will be made okay so you guys are definitely get a, getting rid of um like i said these toxic energies these toxic beliefs um, or memories, whatever it is for you, in order for you to be able to feel free, in order for you be, in order for you to be able to see things differently and experience things differently. Option number two. So major change is happening for you. Keep that in mind, um, and keep in mind that your mind is a powerful tool that can be used to change your life for the better. So that's what I have for you, option number two. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a big fat like. Comment down below and subscribe to join the Sunstar family. Make sure when you do subscribe, you hit that bell button so you can be updated every time I upload. And also, please check out my Instagram and TikTok. The links are down below, as well as the information to donate to my channel. It is not required, but it is greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and move on to option number three. Hello, option number three. So if you chose this stone right here, then this will be your reading, okay? Let's go ahead and dive into dive in with the tarot to see what the message from spirit is. Let me go ahead and shuffle. Okay, what is the message for, from spirit for option number three? What is the message for spirit? All right, we have here six of pentacles. King of pentacles. King of wands. Oh, a lot of masculine energy. Yes. Back of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there seems to be some sort of new beginning that Spirit wants to talk to you about. I feel like something, I keep getting this feeling that something will be given to you. Um, yeah, 
but with the masculine energy here i do feel like it's given to you because of the action that you have taken or um maybe because someone was seeing how giving you were you know maybe someone was seeing how much you were giving to others so now they decide that they're going to give to you um but i do feel like this is a new beginning there is a new beginning happening here this is something new happening here it could have to do with your creativity it could have to do with your finances but yes i do get the feeling of either you giving maybe information to other people giving your time energy and effort to other people maybe giving your money to other people just giving back in some way and if it's not you then it's someone else someone else um giving this to you with the king of pinnacles i'm seeing here that there is enough because i feel like either you or someone else has more than enough to give which is why things are being given given out right hmm all right let's get more cards out here because i want to know more and what that uh green adventurine is all about um the heart chakra so maybe spirit is saying here be open to receive be open to giving and receiving because it just may surprise you what you what you come to find i just heard that all right the emperor Ooh, a lot of divine masculine energy yo okay we got the five of cups yeah because maybe you were okay huh? and death look at that bam <laughs> back of the deck we have the six of wands i love this oh option number three i feel like you guys have been feeling like i really want success or i really want stability i feel like you've been wanting financial stability and security and i feel like you've been wanting stability and security in your life and i feel like maybe you guys have been upset at the fact that you don't feel like you've been getting that and receiving that and i feel like you guys are finally going to be um actually being finally going to be able to create stability in your life maybe you're fi you'll find help in some way with the six of pentacles but um I do feel here that, and we got two sixes. Like, I do feel like you guys are on the road to success. I feel like you guys are on the road to being recognized in some way, maybe in your career. But I do feel like you guys are going to be able to create stability for yourself. You could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag, or you could be a, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Okay? Or you could be a Scorpio. I feel like there's this new beginning there's this major change that's going to happen here um that will allow for you to really step into your power um and take more action in your life okay because maybe you haven't been taking action or you haven't felt the energetic inspiration to take action whatever the case option number three i feel like you guys are going to be giving given that uh um stability and maybe it's from hard work that you've done you know maybe it's because you've been doing a lot of hard work already and that's how you get this stability um or maybe someone is actually coming in to give you that so it could be different for all of you guys but it seems like spirit wants you to know that there's no need to uh feel sorry for yourself or feel sorry for where you've been or 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 where you're at because there's going to be some major changes happening here that actually puts you in a more stable position okay so let's get some oracle cards out for you we got poised yes stay graceful no matter where you are stay graceful stay graceful and no you know no just have that that trust in your intuition and trust in source god that everything will work out the way that the way that it is meant to okay look when i say that the fates come out p 
period period look go the distance so do not stop whatever you've been doing to try to create stability for yourself to try to come out on top to try to create success for yourself do not stop keep going because you are meant to have that you are meant to have that stay poised remember that you can get there and you will get there okay i feel like that is what spirit is saying for you option number three don't give up because changes are going to happen for you but at the most divine time which sucks i know but <laughs> but this is a good indication that it's not far away it's not far away for you so keep going so this could be anything for you guys i don't want to get in you know get any more into detail but just know that if you have a goal or something that you've been wanting and you've been working towards it but you feel like it's just not giving what it's supposed to give no know and have trust and faith in God's source and in yourself that you will get there and I feel like that's what spirit wants you to know oh my god all right so we have here soften okay and it says I take control trigger statement okay and true statement says I am compassionate take a moment and allow yourself to see things from your heart center from that place allow your intuition to guide you period didn't i say okay so that green adventurine option number three that you chose is all about your heart chakra it's all about it's all about um being open to receive so i feel like really you know it's not about it's not about taking control it's about trusting and being in flow and and i feel like with true statement i am compassionate it's like no matter where you are on your journey be compassionate towards yourself be in flow with yourself like okay maybe i'm not exactly where i want to be but this is where i am at and i'm okay with that you know what i'm saying having that feeling of trust and that's what i feel like is really about trust like soften your heart soften your heart to trust trust in spirit god source if you can't do that then trust in yourself trust in your own intuition and know that you are being guided okay and if things are not happening in the way that you want it want it to it's for a reason okay but major positive changes will be happening for you option number three okay learn how to um be open to receiving i did say that right all right so and it says allow yourself to see things from your heart center okay and your heart heart, heart center your heart chakra is the one that allows you to be open to receive so be open okay so i appreciate you guys so much for watching please make sure you like comment and subscribe to join the sunstar family make sure when you do subscribe you hit that bell button so you can be updated every time i upload also check out my instagram and tiktok the links are in the description box in the description box and the information to donate to my channel is also in the description box it is not required but it is greatly appreciated I appreciate you all for being here and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.